Hi everybody, this is Matt here with Good Books Accounting Service. I wanted to give you a quick little video on a question I had come in the other day about whether you could use QuickBooks to help with your income tax returns. And the answer is definitely yes. Um, it does involve uh, a little setup work on your part, but that's what this video is going to be all about. So uh, I set up this set up this uh, little sample business so I could give you guys an idea of how this works. Um, basically the main thing that QuickBooks is going to help you with is getting you the numbers you need to uh, move over to your tax return uh, and uh, create that. It's not going to automatically send it off to the IRS, it's not going to automatically type it out for you, but it will generate the numbers for you to uh, put onto the tax return. So you're going to find that information if you go to reports and accountant and taxes and down here at the bottom it's got these three reports income tax preparation, income tax summary, and income tax detail. Now I'm, I am in QuickBooks 2007 right now. Uh, it might be slightly different depending on the version that you have but I believe these reports have been around for uh, several years. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to show you uh, the main the main report you're going to use to move this information over to your tax return. And actually, now would be a good time to bring up the fact that I am completely incompetent uh, for legal and taxation advice uh, in general. So um, you can follow all of my advice at your own risk. Uh, I would not recommend it. I would recommend talking to your tax preparer specifically. Um, before definitively using any of my advice given in this video. Um, there's my little legal disclaimer, okay? Um, now, so the, the numbers that QuickBooks is going to give to you that you can put on your tax return, uh, the main place you'll find those is under Income Tax Summary, okay? So if I go to this report, uh, first of all, I don't have it automatically comes up to 2007. I don't have any transactions in 2007. Um, okay, so right now you're going to see tax line unassigned balance sheet, tax line unassigned income and expense. That is because, um, <coughs> excuse me, we don't, uh, we have to do our setup work first before uh, any of this is going to work correctly. Okay, so where you want to go is to company and company information. Now down here at the bottom it's going to ask you what income tax form do you use. Now um, you're given a range of different choices. This is all going to depend on uh, first of all are you doing a business or a personal return? What are you tracking in QuickBooks? Since, since it is um, well since it is QuickBooks I'm assuming it's some kind of business but uh, are you a a C Corp, are you an S Corp, are you a partnership, uh, are you just a sole proprietor or a flow through? Um, all that is going to depend on, you know, is going to influence what you choose here. Uh, basically, if you've already done a tax return in the past, you know, even one, um, you know, just choose what type of return you did last year. Uh, so, for the purposes of this example, we're going to do the S Corporation. Uh, return. I'm going to say OK. Uh, okay. Um, now this handy little report, your income tax preparation report, is basically going to show you, okay, on my chart of, now QuickBooks is going to, that income tax summary report that I was telling you about that gives you all the numbers, uh, QuickBooks figures out how to come up with all those numbers uh, by the information that you uh, give to it. And what that means basically is that when you define a, an account, uh, whether it's a bank account, a loan account, uh, income account, expense account, whatever it is, uh, you're going to need to set it up or, or tell QuickBooks for that account what tax line to assign it to. Now this especially is the part where you are going to want to get the uh, advice of your uh, tax advisor or CPA. Uh, okay, I'm definitely not an expert at this and um, you know, so uh, let the buyer beware here. I'm giving you this 
information as an example only. Um, so all of your accounts in QuickBooks, you're going to want to um, assign them a tax line so that at the end of the year you can use QuickBooks, um, pull up your income tax summary report, and it'll put everything in the right place, okay? So, uh, let's see, can I, yes, I can, okay. So if you, um, now you see that uh, some of the some of mine were already set up um, correctly to begin with, uh, but I'll just kind of show you how it works. Okay, so this is the bank account of the company. Uh, now here you see tax line mapping. Okay, this is what we want to use. Um, it's a drop down, and as you can see, uh, there are a lot of choices here. This form eighty eight twenty five. You're not going to have to, well, I'm not going to say not have to. Uh, I know that the, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to have to get in, not going to use any of those. Um, most of the stuff that I want to find for the purposes of this vi video are either this uh, income, uh, oops, cost of goods sold stuff, uh, deductions, which basically are your expenses as far as, the, as, far as you're concerned, and then uh, balance sheet assets and balance sheet liabilities. Now all this is going to correspond to specific lines on your tax return. Okay, that's that's where QuickBooks is coming up with all of these things. So if you're confused by what in the world all these different things are, you can thank the IRS instead of Intuit. Um, okay, so I've got a bank account here. That is a type of balance sheet account. It's an asset and it's, as far as IRS is concerned, it is a cash asset, so I am going to choose cash. Now, so what I'm going to do here is go straight down the line and um, assign all of my accounts uh, a tax line. Okay, loans and exchanges, uh, that's actually loans from shareholder setup. Uh, that's another one of these. Payroll liabilities. Um, that's a that's an other unless they have a different yeah okay that's another current liability. Okay, capital stock. That is a balance sheet item also, and that's a type of liability equity. Capital stock. Opening balance equity. That's also a balance sheet liability.